Another synthesis method that JBI Summary facilitates is the ability to do a proportional meta-analysis. To do a proportional meta-analysis, we can click on the down arrow next to the synthesis pane and select proportional meta-analysis. The first thing we need to do is to create our outcome. Now, our outcome for this example may be something such as the proportion of adults in uh, Australia who are pack-a-day smokers. I can then select plot. The options that are presented to us for our proportional meta-analysis look slightly different to the options presented to us for our comparative meta-analysis. You will note that there is only one statistical method available. We can't change our confidence interval either. We can only select our model from fixed to random. In this example, I will just select fixed. If you would like more instruction as to the difference between proportional meta-analysis and comparative meta-analysis, then I instruct you to look at the JBR Manual for Evidence Synthesis or the Cochrane Handbook for Systematic Reviews. To input data for proportional meta-analysis into summary, I would again follow the same principles as I discuss in the video for comparative meta-analysis. By clicking on this uh, box, you will see a list of the studies that I've extracted. I will just select the Baker study. Then we just need to enter the number of events versus the total sample that were involved in that study. So for example, this would be the number of people that were considered pack-a-day smokers out of everyone that was involved in that study. Once I'm done entering our data, I can click on the generate button to generate our plot. When I scroll down, you'll be able to see our proportional meta-analysis here that details the number of times the event occurred being uh, people with pack day smokers over everyone that was involved in the study. So we can see that our proportion of people that were pack day smokers for this study was 0 0.023.